the psychological sigh. I want to talk to you about this and if you don't have this handout, ask at the front desk for the handout of the psychological sigh so you can have a look at exactly what this handout looks like. But I'm going to talk you through this handout because you've probably already got this handout if you're watching this video and saying I just want to really make sure I've got clear the instructions of that. But psychological sigh, also called the physiological sigh. And the reason it's called the physiological sigh as well as the psychological sigh is one, it actually has a significant physiological response. Oh yeah, it changes your biochemistry, alters your physiology and changes also your neurology within your body, body with this act. And it's the simplest way of doing that. Also called the psychological sigh because it is something that we do psychologically in response to stress. And what, what is that process? It's this breathing in, and breathing out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna magnify this. And again, the picture is here. I'm gonna talk about that in a moment, but let me just put that aside so you know what that has looked like from the, the image that we had here for you. So the psychological side is, again, you will have done this instinctively, intuitively. You will have done this at some point in your life. It's often done after crying as an emotional release. It's often done when you're under stress as a way of oxygenating and normalizing neurology and physio physiology of the body. But it looks simply like this. Breathe in, all the way to the top, and then there's a little bit more at the top, and then out. It doesn't matter whether it's through the nose or the mouth, but oftentimes, as I said, normally when you're crying, you do that double intake of breath. Or you've been really upset. So I'm role playing that emotional aspect of it. So, but what you can see is there's the deep breath in, that little peak, and then all the way out. And doing it once is great, twice, three times is a really great normal physiological response. So I'm going to do it now deliberately, not role playing the emotional aspect that you often experience while doing this, and so that you can actually induce this to start normalizing your nervous system and physiology and stress response, keeping you in that beautiful calm state as much as is possible and practical. And it will look a little like this. Again, deep breath in. I'm all the way to the top. all the way out. So you can see all the way to the top, more, and then take that all the way out. And that is one, now I'm not gonna do it with the noise this time, I just wanted you to hear the in-breath um, associated with that and the out-breath so you could see that I was breathing throughout, but very simply it'll look like. I did two in that occasion. You probably noticed the first one was deliberate. The second one actually just happened systematically, almost naturally, with that breath in, and then I brought that other additional in breath in and then left that out. I feel totally relaxed after doing that. That's something you can do deliberately at the end of each day. You've had a long day, you're wanting to reduce the stress, you're in the middle of something intense and demanding, and you want to respond to that. There's a whole heap of emails. Use that as a ritualized practice to break up any stressful moments, intense moments, to normalize your system. So. Psychological sigh, deliberately done, profound way of keeping your nervous system intact. You got this.